What role does mass media, you know, newspapers, radio stations and TV networks play in helping us all understand climate change? And is it helping us or is it making things all more confusing? We recently attended a symposium called Green Voices, which looked at these questions by examining ethical climate change reporting. It was organized by Media Monitoring Africa and the New Economy Hub. To start, people at the symposium took a look at some of the research by the New Economy Hub that gave a sense of the role that mass media is currently playing in reporting on climate change. And it wasn't a pretty picture. Firstly, Climate change coverage tends to be narrowly focused on energy security, the economy, and the policy initiatives that should respond to them. The intersection of climate change adaptation with social impact and development concerns across sectors, beats, and audiences is weakly covered, if at all. Secondly, the climate story is simply not reaching significant portions of the South African society. Coverage overrepresents the experiences and priorities of urban-based elites as having vital economic interests in or some influence in shaping the national policy agenda. Thirdly, the climate story in South Africa is told almost exclusively in English, excluding nearly 91.9% of all households in the country who don't speak English as a primary language from accessing vital information that supports making sense of climate change and adaptation efforts in the country. And finally, the systemic constraints on the visibility and sustainability of the media in South Africa have meant that too few journalists are covering the climate story in a specialized capacity. And those who do are spread too thin. And where the climate story is not positioned as an energy or economy story, it's relegated to the news ghettos of environment and sustainability. After the research was shared, there was a panel discussion looking at the age-old question, what is to be done? To be honest, listening to some of the representatives of the mass media industry was like reading the Book of Lamentations in the Bible. We don't have money to send reporters to cover stories about climate change, they lamented. We don't have enough reporters to specialize in climate change. We don't have enough newspapers anymore to provide a spread of ideas and information. Please buy our products or give us money and we'll do a better job. If only it ended there. As other speakers at the symposium pointed out, it doesn't cost money to get information about climate change. There are loads of open access sources of news, analysis, and information that don't cost anything. It doesn't cost anything to get reporters to build climate change into their journalism. Because climate change affects pretty much everything. Daily life, farming, education, health, infrastructure, jobs, agriculture, you name it. It seems that the mindset may not be right. Too much lamentation, not enough innovation, was what we heard at the symposium. But thankfully, there are a few exceptions. Based on what was presented at the symposium, it would be worth your while to look out for climate change coverage from journalists like Feriel Hafeji at Daily Maverick, Lamiz Omarji at News24, and Sipelele Tlulu at Independent News. Also, keep an eye out for publications by Crema Media, such as Engineering News, as they seem to provide particularly good and consistent coverage of climate change. So where to from here? Well, we all have a role to play in getting mass media to cover climate change properly. Let's help them. Let's talk to more journalists. Encourage those who are doing a good job to do more and share knowledge and ideas so that we gradually get better and better coverage. And climate change is built into mass media coverage of pretty much everything because it impacts pretty much everything. And let's buy their products. We need a vibrant, sustainable mass media. Let us know of any useful mass media coverage you come across and share it on social media. And remember to tag us at ClimateComs today so we can all spread the knowledge. The more informed we are about climate change, the more we can do about it.